When taking a road trip of any kind, you're bound to hit some bumps along the way, whether that's overpaying for gas or getting lost on the back roads, which we may or may not have done a time or two. These types of pitfalls can ruin your travel day. So today we're gonna be going over five apps that are great for your next RV road trip. Over the past four years, I've probably tried every single RV app out there. And today we're gonna showcase the five top ones that we use almost every single travel day. This is not a complete list of apps. We do have a list of 17 of our top apps that we use month to month. And uh, we'll tell you about where to find that later. But in the end, the apps are all about your travel style and how you use them. Yes, and before we jump right into the five apps that we love here, I wanted to mention that if you're not subscribed to our channel yet and you're finding our videos helpful, please do subscribe. We were recently looking at our analytics and while we've had more than average views lately, which is awesome, we have noticed an increase in non-subscribers versus subscribers. So about 70% of you watching this video aren't subscribed. So really quickly, just hit that subscribe button if you're liking the content. And with that out of the way, let's jump into the five apps that we love. The first app on our list is RV Life. And this is a relatively new app uh, for us in terms of we've probably been using it for the last year and RV Life is a RV safe GPS routing app, but it's so much more. Uh, RV Life, if you subscribe to the RV Life Pro plan, gets you access to the RV Life GPS app. It gets you access to RV Trip Wizard, which allows you to plan your route and find campgrounds and see how far driving is and actually put in fuel costs and, and get an estimated cost of your trip, which is really, really neat and it gets you access to maintain my RV, which is an area where you can go and put all of your maintenance records on your RV and get reminders when it's time to do some of this annual maintenance. While maintain my RV and RV Trip Wizard are both online, RV Life GPS is an app and we're gonna give you a quick overview of that now. RV Life starts out with the Explore tab, which is pretty neat because it usually finds you in the campground you're in and gives you some really interesting information. Uh, you can check into the campground where they can send you alerts or things while you're there and access additional relevant content. You can add photos, you can leave a review, which actually leaves the review on campgroundreviews.com, which is integrated, and you can run a quick speed test to test how fast your internet is there. It does show some nearby weather, and something I find really cool is this park tip area where people who have left reviews get to leave little tips. They usually talk about good places to go eat or places to get groceries, other things in the area about the campground. So I really, really like that. Over here, it allows you to begin a download of the whole area. So this is for all of Texas, which is really nice if you're going to be heading to places that don't have any internet, you can download the maps and information for offline use. Below that, you have more stuff about things to do nearby, rest areas, gas, and all that. Clicking on this red tab at the bottom brings up RV Life's other features, uh, one being a campground map. So if you do wanna just briefly look at other campgrounds in the area, you can do that. And this is all the the campgrounds that it knows about in Texas. And you can filter down here or just look for fuel or rest stops and all that. But where the RV Life app shines is its RV Safe GPS, which you can click here. And you can either input a specific location, like I have this location in my history, uh, which actually happens to be the Thousand Trails Lake Medina. And then you say start from your current location, you can hit route. As you can see here, it has my RV saved as a profile. So we have our 2018 grain design. It's 41 foot four inches 
long and it's 13 feet 5 inches tall and there's the weight and we are carrying propane on board. You can customize down here whether you want to avoid tolls or ferries or tunnels or anything like that and then you hit view RV friendly directions. So it'll build an RV safe route for you and just show it there on the map. You can take a look and just hit start. So we love that and it will avoid any low clearance bridges or anything that our RV cannot go over or under. Other than access to the GPS, the last and final thing is it's quick access to RV Trip Wizard. Uh, trips you've already planned. So if you've gone into RV Trip Wizard and planned out an entire road trip, you can just click here and click on RV Trip Wizard and your trips will pop up here. And that's it for RV Life GPS. And if you're interested in getting the RV Life Pro Bundle yourself, we actually have an exclusive coupon code with them. So only our gang will know about this. But if you use the coupon code GETAWAY25 when signing up for their annual membership, you can get 25% off. So a $49 annual membership is now only $36.75, which works out to about $3 a month. So the next app on our list is Gas Buddy or TSD. So we're gonna explain both of those to you. Gas Buddy is just an app that shows you the lowest price of gas wherever you are. It's a GPS locator and it just shows you the different costs of gas prices wherever you are. TSD is if you have diesel and it's actually a trucker program that they opened up to RVers. So you do have to go to truck stops and go in the truck lanes to be able to use this discount, but we love it. TSD has saved us a ton of money and we have a whole nother blog article on that if you would like to learn about that. But normally what we do is we will open up our TSD app. If there aren't any TSD gas stations in the area, we will then go ahead and open up Gas Buddy and I'll show you what that app looks like right now. Opening Open Roads by TSD immediately shows you your best fuel option that it has picked for you in the general area but i usually like to click down here on fuel map that gives us an actual overview of the area in a big circle from where we are and i like to scroll in down the road in the direction that we're heading overall it looks like most of the fuel prices here are around two dollars and seventy something cents but one does stick out right here and it's $2.56. And so that would probably be our next stop since it's just right down the road. Or if you're not ready for fuel yet and you just wanna look for your next stop, looks like there's even another option here at the edge of their circle, which is $2.53. And so you can just go ahead and click on that and it's a Petro and it pops up and you can hit the directions button. That's all you really need to know about the TSD Open Roads app. Gas Buddy works similarly, but it's not just for those who have a TSD card. It works for everyone, regardless of fuel type. It pops up and you just hit find gas and it'll look around you. And since I have mine set to diesel, it filters to only those places that have diesel fuel. It does only show those places that have had the price reported. So I do know that this Sitgo has diesel, but uh, it does not have a price reported. Down the road, at, there's an Exxon and a Shell, and it looks like overall, I would probably be heading to one of those at $2.73, and the price was updated nine hours ago. So that's all you need to know about Gas Buddy. The next app on our list is iExit. And this one is one of my favorite ones while we're underway. So this app is kind of like a magician. It shows you what those roadside like service signs say, mm -hmm. but in the future. Uh, and so when you first open it up, it'll do its little GPS thing and it'll say like, oh, are you on the I-10 heading east and like you just say yes and then it shows you the next um, forever amount of like stops and so literally you can scroll through and look at every single off-ramp uh, one by one and see what services or attractions they have 
And I find this really useful when we're looking for maybe a place to pull over to use the restroom or just stretch our legs or anything like that. Or maybe we want a little bit of fast food because we didn't plan ahead. <laughs> uh, it shows you what fast food or restaurants are available at each stop and it shows you uh, service areas and gas stations and all of that. And so it makes it really simple. The app itself is free, but it does have an option to remove the single ad banner at the bottom for $1.99 uh, lifetime fee. And let's show you what that app looks like now. Opening iExit, it immediately pops up with nearby highways and allows you to go ahead and click on one. So as you can see, the Interstate 10 is here. If you are traveling down the highway, it will automatically detect your direction. But since we are not currently driving down the road, uh, it allows you to select a direction. So I'll select west and it shows you the next exits from where you are. So as you can see, 2.3 miles down the road is a rest area. And um, the next exit after that, which is exit 689, it does not detect anything. So as I said before, we're normally using this app to find some place to pull over where the RV will fit. And so that's things like rest areas or truck stops or parking areas. So I'll usually scroll through here and first thing I'll do is hit rest areas and it'll uh, filter just on the rest areas. So it's 2.3 miles. And then the next one after that is 72 miles. So we can make the determination if we need to wait uh, or if we need to find somewhere closer. Let's say we need to find somewhere closer. The next thing I'll do is just go through and start clicking at some of these places that have uh, look like they have a little bit more stuff. Right here on exit 682, it looks like it has a decent amount of things, but right off the bat, it's just a bunch of normal grocery stores. So this is probably gonna be a little bit more crowded. And so I'll go back and then um, right here, it looks like on exit 674, there's a pilot. And since pilots are also truck stops, that will definitely have enough room for us to pull over with our RV. So that's a great next option in 17.4 miles. It's also going to work with food. As you can see down here, you can slide and it pulls in Yelp reviews for the food in the area. So it looks like there's a Whataburger there and a Dairy Queen and a Subway and a couple of other places like that. But overall, that's iExit. Our next app is Coverage. <laughs> <laughs> I always found it funny that it had a question mark at the end and it totally makes sense because it's an app about cell service and finding it while you're out and about on the road. And it is such a simple app but it does something very, very useful, especially for us that are working full time on the road. It overlays the maps that are provided from the cell companies uh, on a GPS map. So you're able to either look at where you are, kind of like a regular Google Maps map. You can scroll into where you are to see what, what if you have certain coverages like T-Mobile or AT&T or um, Sprint doesn't exist anymore, but Verizon. <laughs> and uh, it's really cool because you can kind of like stack them or you can scroll over to where you're heading next and hopefully see like, oh, it's kind of at the edge of the Verizon network. It starts to get a little bit- um, Questionable. Yeah, questionable, <laughs> but it's big blue and wide area of AT&T network. So uh, make sure you have an AT&T plan. And so overall, I think it's extremely useful for the RVer, especially someone who either wants to get service on the road for just watching Netflix or if you're still working on the road. And so let's show you what that app looks like now. Opening coverage, you were presented with a map of the United States and this nice little blue dot showing where you are. If you wanna see the coverage, your location, you can toggle these switches up in the top right to turn on each individual carrier. This is AT&T's map. And as you can see, it is pretty full coverage here. Next up is Verizon, which also has full coverage, and then T-Mobile, which looks a little spotty over here. As you can see, it does a great job of showing maybe you're going somewhere, 
um, like down here to say Cell Padre Island and you want to see which cell carrier would have the best coverage and it looks like T-Mobile does not but AT&T appears to have pretty good coverage. So it allows you to plan accordingly in areas that you'll be traveling to, especially out here in the West where the mountains break up the cellular signal. The great thing about this is say you have two plans like AT&T and Verizon, you can actually overlay both of them. It kind of gives you a better sense of where you can travel and where you can see with your current cell plans. And you can add in a third one to, to see if that helps at all, fill in any of those gaps you're missing. Down here, they have the new selectors for the 5G maps, which is the new technology coming out. And as you can see, it's pretty sparse across the country. It's that dark, dark blue, but looks like right now where we are does get 5G in AT&T. So if we have the cellular capabilities for it, we should have the coverage. Overall, that's all that we have to show you in coverage. Our next app is called All Trails. Now this isn't RV related or really even road trip related, but we found it extremely useful as we travel the country because it tells us where the nearest hiking trails are or dog friendly trails. It tells you a little bit more than that and we'll get into that as well. But we've just found this app to be really useful to get out and explore an area and see what the locals like rather than us guessing what we wanna do or what are the best hikes around. When we first started, All Trails was almost 100% hiking and we still used the app for that. And it did a great job of finding those places that are dog friendly that we could bring Carmen. But I found myself using it more and more, uh, more frequently because it shows bike paths and uh, even just scenic drives and scenic vistas and just all this other really cool stuff uh, outdoors, which is one of the reasons why we're out here RV road tripping to explore more of the outdoors across the country. So overall, All Trails has become one of my favorite apps for finding uh, the majority of free outdoor things to do. And to give you a quick overview so you can see what this app looks like, we'll get into that now. All Trails opens and shows you trails nearby after it does a little bit of searching. Uh, so these are the top here, it's the top trails nearby, so the highest rated trails. Down below that, it has a couple other categories to show you that are some of its more popular trail categories like family friendly trails, the best views nearby, trails less traveled if you're the kind of person who likes to go off the beaten path and allows you to browse by activity, whether you want to go mountain biking or trail running or just walking or even off-road driving, it has trails for all of that. Here you have dog-friendly trails nearby, but overall I like to use two different ways to go through all of its trails and find trails that work for me. And first and foremost, it is usually going up here to these little icons. This one that has these little lines is the filter button, so you can click that. And I like to look for easy trails, say that our length is less than five miles. For us, it's usually dog friendly. So we can go ahead and filter through all the trails that they have and get down to only 289 trails in our area. And the thing I really like about this is because it has the reviews, you can see what other people have said about the trail and then people actually upload pictures. So this one looks interesting, the Monument Hill and clicking into it, uh, you can click on the top there and it'll show you pictures of the trail. So this looks really interesting and a bunch of really cool stuff to see on the trail itself. So that's always fun. And it looks like you have a view from the top. So closing that, you can click show more here and it will show more about the trail itself. And it says right there, dogs are able to use this trail, but must be kept on a leash, which is no problem for us. It looks like this is a loop trail, which are some of my favorites. And it's only 1.1 miles, so that's perfect. Uh, it has a little map here, so you can actually see a map of the trail itself and other things like tips and fees and, and all of that. Down here are the reviews of the trail itself and allows you to gauge if the trail is right for you. Overall, the other way that I like to look at trails is just by clicking this map button and scrolling out and seeing what trails are immediately close to us. 
that one up there is the one we were looking at in LaGrange, or there's a couple down here, Atawater, Prairie, Chicken National Wildlife. And so that allows you to find cool things to do no matter where you are. And that's all we have for all trails app is free but the pro version is $30 a year if you find yourself loving the app as much as we do. So those are five RV apps that we highly recommend and we actually have a list of 17 apps that you can get your hands on on our website and you can find that at getawaycouple.com slash RV apps. And don't forget to sign up to our newsletter while you're there. We do send daily content. However, if that's too much for you, you can easily just opt in to our Friday weekly newsletter that gives you an update of what we're doing, our favorite products, and any features or coupon codes or giveaways or any exciting stuff like that. So those are our favorite apps for RVing. Let us know in the comments what yours are. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. I look taller than you. <laughs> well, I can't sit up all the way because then it cuts off my head. Oh, well I can fix that. Or finding yourself on the back roads will come with bumps along the road. Oh Taking a road trip of any kind is bound whether that's overpaying for gas. Oh man, I really was trying to hold that in. So I think I've tried every single RV out there over the last four you years. just said RV. Oh. <laughs> so let us know in the comments what your favorite RV GPS. <laughs>